The Las Vegas Raiders played the Pittsburgh Steelers yesterday, and the Raiders won. We are 2-0, and oh, and there were some pivotal moments in this game. And I want to show you guys uh, three to four clips of some moments where the defense really did their thing. And I want to start off by showing you guys this play first. This was actually on the first drive of the game. And the thing that I noticed right off the bat is the fact that our players are flying to the football. Max Crosby, Jonathan Hankins, Carl Nassib, Denzel Perryman are flying to the football and this is how we started the game. This is what the Raiders did to start the game against the Pittsburgh Steelers and this is what you have to do against a team who believes they are a tough physical team. A team that feels like they will go in and bully anybody no matter who it is that lines up across from them. So for the Raiders, they had to show it at the beginning of the game that you're not bowling this Raiders team. At the top of your screen, even Jonathan Hankins gets into it. He pushes rookie center Kendrick Green, and he's letting him know that this whole entire game, you are lining up against Big Hankins, and I'm going to dominate you. And Hankins did that. Let's get into the next clip. In my opinion, this third and six was the biggest play of the game for the defense. It is third and six, and the Pittsburgh Steelers have nine minutes left in the fourth quarter, and they are down by nine points. So they need at least two possessions with points to be able to take the lead. Big Ben throws the ball to the tight end, and the tight end picks up five yards. Trayvon Mullen and Dalen Levette do a great job wrapping the tight end up. However, as you guys can see, Levette kind of slips off, and the tight end was getting ready to lean forward and jump forward and pick the first down up. But Denzel Perryman and Jonathan Abram come storming to the ball and smack the tight end and force him from getting the first down. This play right here with nine minutes left and the Steelers punting the ball back to the Raiders could be the play of the game because the Raiders then took three minutes off the clock and punted the ball back and the Steelers had five minutes when they got the ball back and they were still down by two possessions. These are game changing plays. Without this play right here, the Raiders don't necessarily win this game because if they are able to get downfield and if they are able to score three points on this drive they have much more time to get the ball back they'll have five to six minutes and you can play defense a little bit differently but it was Trayvon Mullen, Lavette, Jonathan Abram and Denzel Perryman running in there together to force this play into a negative play basically forcing the team to basically punt the ball because we came up with a huge stop this was such a key play of the game and it's not getting the recognition but that's why we're here man we're here to give this play recognition huge shout out to all four of those guys for coming up big let's get into the next clip Coming into the game, the Las Vegas Raiders knew that unlike Lamar Jackson and the Ravens, Big Ben and the Pittsburgh Steelers don't hesitate to throw the ball deep. This was the first pass in which the Steelers decided let's throw the ball deep. And Casey Hayward did a fantastic job breaking this pass up, forcing the incompletion. One of the things that you can't see because we don't have the All-22 yet is the fact that the first wide receiver is going to run a deep post. He's trying to clear Casey Hayward and the offense is running Chase Claypool on an out and up wheel route from the slot. And basically they are running a cover three beater. They want to be able to hit this play behind Amik Robertson, the slot corner at the time. And Casey Hayward reads it perfectly. And he comes back to the ball and he breaks the pass up, making it that much more impressive. This is what I want to see from the Raiders defensive players. All right, you guys, jumping into the final clip that I want to share with you guys. This is the play in which Damon Arnett makes the boneheaded mistake. The mistake which is going to be a learning lesson for him. Young players make mistakes. Cleo Mack, Seal Moore once sacked the player and celebrated, and Justin Tuck had to call a timeout to save the Raiders from being offsides on a play and that was a learning lesson for Cleo Mack. And this is going to be a learning lesson for Damon Arnett. You got to get the guy down. You got to make sure he's touched when he hits the floor. This is not college. But what's impressive to me about this play is the fact that Jonathan Abram chases it. He doesn't just think that Claypool was touched. He doesn't just think that Damon Arnett has already done his job. No. When Claypool gets up, Jonathan Abram saying, I'm not letting you, you run and score. And the most impressive part about this is the football awareness of Jonathan Abram to run downfield and to wrap up Claypool. But that too, 
he actually was able to do it, right? How many times does Claypool get in the open field? And when there's one guy out there, that one guy's not able to bring him down. Chase Claypool, a lot of people would say is a special talent. In fact, the Raiders had Casey Hayward line up on Claypool for a reason, majority of the game. Chase Claypool can make things happen. And for Jonathan Abram to be able to tackle him in the open field and just a heads up play, and the thing is, is they scored a touchdown on this drive regardless. So you might say uh, it might not matter. However, on this drive, Trey Turner, the right guard, spit towards a Raiders player. And I believe he spit on a referee to be exact. And he was ejected. And that came on this drive. So if you guys think about that, if they scored on this play and the Raiders didn't force them to continue to drive downfield, then Trey Turner might not have been ejected out of the game. He might not have gotten angry at whoever it was that he got angry at and he wouldn't have spit towards the player he spit towards. Either way, this is a huge play for the Raiders fans and the Raiders coaches because they can look at Jonathan Abram and say, hey, we trust that guy when it comes down to it. We know that he understands the game of football. We know he gets it. And when we need him, he will come up for us. He will make the right decision. He will make the proper play. And at the end of it, how many mistakes has Jonathan Abram made so far through two weeks? And at the same time, I can count a number of times that Jonathan Abram makes a positive play, including this one, including that third and sixth play from just a couple of plays ago, as well as the Ravens pass breakup on Mark Andrews. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.